Hey everybody, welcome into the Nesson Studios. Michaela Vernava joined on the line by John Campbell, our sports analyst for oddshark.com. John, thanks for joining us on this Thursday morning where it is a victory Thursday here in Boston. The Celtics closing out their series against the Sixers Wednesday night, which was a very exciting, really tight game. And they did it as underdogs the entire series. What did you think? Yeah, incredible series. A little bit surprising where the Celtics dusted the Sixers off in five games here. So uh, a little bit of a surprise there. The last game, too, for betters was especially exciting. Marcus Smart actually tried to miss a free throw with two and a half seconds left. It ends up going in, and the Celtics end up covering the spread by a half point. So... For betters, that series was especially exciting. Yeah, I was talking to a lot of people after the game on Wednesday night who made a lot of money. And it was ironic because Smart could not make a free throw when he was trying to and then makes that one that he misses and they all got the payout for that. Unbelievable. So let's look at Celtics versus Cavs. What's the series price there? Uh, the series price here, lo and behold, the Celtics are underdogs yet again here. They're plus 235 underdogs. So if you want to take the Celtics to pull off the upset, if you risk $100, you'd be winning $235. On the other side, the Cavs are minus 275 favorites. To, so in order to win $100, you'd be risking 275 there. A lot of people expecting the Cavs to move on to that familiar place in the NBA Finals. Well, for game one, the spread's only one point. I was actually surprised at that. It feels like people usually underrate the Celtics more than that, but pretty small spread there. What are you feeling about putting your money on that game one? Yeah, it's, it is a surprisingly small spread, especially when you look at the series price, because usually the game one price and the series price are a lot closer than this. And here you've got the Celtics, Cavs, minus 105, both, depending on where you look. And then the series price, much, much higher than that. So it doesn't always work out that way. And Boston underestimated here again. One thing I like about Boston for this series is I think they have the advantage at the three-point line. They're the number one uh, defensive three-point team this season and number three at shooting the three percentage-wise. And that's one area where they could hold an advantage. I, I like their chances in this series and in game one. I actually do too. And it's obviously going to be a matter of how they can shut down LeBron. So it's a Brad Stevens versus LeBron series is the way I'm looking at it. And I don't know, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm pretty optimistic here. Yeah, for sure. I don't blame you. I, I won't be surprised if the uh, if the Celtics pull this out. I'm going to go ahead and take them. I think I think this is a really good price. I like the Celtics plus 235 to, to surprise everyone and move on to the final. All right, I'm with you. I'm taking them too. Good stuff. Let's look at their odds to win the NBA Finals. They were heavily favored heading into this season. But that was, of course, when we thought they were going to have Gordon Hayward, and Kyrie Irving, who they had for most of the season, but now don't have. But what are their odds down to now to win the finals? And can I just say, I do not want to watch another Warriors-Cavs fi NBA finals. I would rather watch <laughs> anyone but that matchup again. I, I agree with you. I would like to see something different. And especially with that three-point line uh, advantage that the Celtics have, I think it's a good matchup against the Warriors. I'd like to see how they match up in the finals in that one. So I think a lot of people are feeling that way. There are, of course, many are hoping for another LeBron versus Warriors finals. But the Celtics are paying well to go to the finals. They're paying well to win the NBA championship as well. They're, they're about 20 to one now to win the NBA championship. And no team has seen roller coaster odds like the Celtics have this year. They were the favorite in the East back before the season started. They were down as low as, as around 6-1 to one at one point uh, to win the NBA Finals. They were as high as 80-1 to one at one point coming into the playoffs, then 50-1 to one heading into the last series. 20-1, to one, still not bad. I like that. If you like the Celtics to move on, that leaves you in a very good hedge position in the Finals. If you have them in your back pocket at 20-1, to one, there might be some buyback on the Warriors there and guarantee yourself a profit. Not only profit, but also everyone loves a good underdog story. Am I right? Yes, you are right. I certainly do. 
All right, John, thanks as always for the great advice. We'll check in with you next week. Thanks, Thanks Michaela. Michaela.